Barbara. Anywhere my daughter is, I feel safe. My home is her home. Her brownie uniform, her school blazer, her bridesmaid dress, they make me so, so happy. Friends and family, Jasper the cat and Billy the bear, protective bracelet, first tattoo, Pepsi Max, they make me so, so happy. I felt scared to move to a new job. I've got this, life changes and new beginnings. I enjoy work, best move ever. It makes me so, so happy. I'm Barbara, thoughtful, friendly, chatty, cheery. I love to make people happy. Why do I want to make people happy? I'm Barbara. Catherine. I'm skipping stones on Larg's beach. I'm playing the grabber and winning a Mickey Mouse teddy. I'm trying on high heels in new look. They fit well. I'm eating a beautiful plate of spaghetti bolognese with my family at home. I'm listening to Pink on my pink iPhone. I'm quietly cheering. I'm different. I'm struggling to keep up at the bingo with the numbers called too fast. I've got a nice face and soft skin and nice curly hair. And I'm asking a question. Why are there so many colours of stones? I'm Catherine. Friendly, nice, kind, helper. I'm nice to people, but quiet. How can I help more with my friends? Be helpful. Hi, I'm Simon Lamb poet, and it was my pleasure to take part in How We See Ourselves. I was brought on board the project really to facilitate a series of workshops in Trendle Moss Day Opportunities over a series of months working with staff and customers at Trendle Moss Day Opportunities in Irvine, and also members of neighbourhood networks. And through these workshops, I worked with the form of poems and poetry and bringing ourselves to the page. After we'd taken part in these workshops, I had pieces upon pieces of paper from which I could then play. And as part of my involvement, I was challenged to come up with a piece that responded to the work that had been created. But I very quickly realised that as soon as I added my own words into this project, it just didn't somehow fulfil how we see ourselves. And I realised that I could fulfil my brief by giving myself as little as possible as a voice. So what did I do? I took the pieces of paper that belonged to each of the participants in the workshops and used only those words that had been created and from them formed poems. It was my pleasure then to sit with all of the participants and share with them their own words now in the form of finished poems that have formed part of this project. As a poet, it's interesting, I think, to see different styles come together. We've got poetry here, we've got art, we've got film, all coming together to show how a group of people see themselves. I think that's a really incredible and very beautiful thing, and it has been a privilege to be involved. Elizabeth. Hated at school, pushed down the stairs. Why? Why the hate? Singing my song on a stage, the judges laughing at me. Hold on, dear, it gets better. The best is coming. Patience. Bullied, lonely, hated. 
College was better than school. Made friends. Saved a life. Fell in love. Sweet kiss, Chris, my true love. All my life I thought I was a zero. But no. I'm Elizabeth. Brave, smart, kind, pretty. I will hold your hand, friend. Do I have it in me to stay? Yes. Just. Glenn. In the mirror, I'm dressed in the same kind of clothes I always wear. I always buy three or four of the same things. To the man in the mirror, I say, You were small and vulnerable, always smiling. Now grown, smiling still. You've messed up many times, but all came good. You're always looking forwards, and when it's tough, you will find your smile content in yourself. I'm Glenn. Quiet, calm, thoughtful, grumpy. I like being kind, not always. What do you see when you see me? Something else? Hi, I'm Lynn McNally. I'm the visual artist brought in to facilitate art workshops on the Trindle Moss project. Week one, we started with self-portraits. Um, I think what was really important to me was that the artwork was really autonomous and so I brought in a lot of different materials so that people could have the choice of what they used. Um, and I was really delighted at people's enthusiasm um, to be involved in the art workshops and creating the artwork. So I was working with a really broad range of people during these workshops and what was lovely was we had um, a few people who don't communicate verbally and it was just great to see them being able to express themselves and their enjoyment through the different mediums um, that were available to them. So. For the second workshop, we used felt, and that's a you know, you start with merino wool to make the felt, and some people were really enjoying that sort of fluffy texture. And what was equally as nice was when someone didn't enjoy using a material, they let me know that as well. Um, but yeah, certainly the, the tactile side um, was lovely for people to have a, a nice sensory experience and express themselves through the, the use of the art materials. I was really conscious of not putting people under too much pressure to create perfect artworks. So I thought some sessions on doing some abstract work um, would be good. And those worked really well, particularly marbling um, with the guys. So marbling is a process that you have maybe an inch of water and then you use marbling inks to just put little droplets in the water. Um, so there's, there's freedom of you know, choice of colours and then you can create patterns with these blobs of ink almost. So there was, there's a, there was a real sensory experience in there as well, sort of moving these inks around on water. Um, I found people were really enjoying that. You then take a piece of card or paper and dip it in and there's a, a really lovely moment when you lift that up and people see the, the sort of abstract um, marble paper that they've created. Um, that's a really fantastic moment. So we had another session where we used bird cutouts, which again took away any pressure because the shape of the bird was already there. So the guys were allowed to choose um, what shape of bird they would like and we sort of put it to them as what type of bird would you be um, so they got to choose the, sh the shape 
and um, we actually used Posca pens to decorate these, which are acrylic paint in a pen form. Again, it's just really easy to grip and, and sort of move around. Um, so everyone was able to create their own style of bird, which really helped with the animation as well. It's been a really unusual project to be involved in because of the animation side of it. It was really nice to see the artwork coming together on the walls, but also used within an animation. The project on the whole for me has been such a positive experience. Um, I always came out feeling a bit lighter and a bit happier than when I had gone into Trindle Moss. I think for me it was the enthusiasm of the people involved um, that goes for staff and customers um, and just the enjoyment that they expressed in, in being involved in the project and creating their own artworks. James. The cruise was good. The food was good. The drink was good. I'm a good swimmer. I'm a good help at the centre. I'm a good worker in the garden. And I'm happy. I am happy to be my dad's son. I'm James. Nice, helpful, funny guy. I always have a sunny smile. How are you feeling today? Are you okay? Feel good. Lorraine. Lorraine loves her food, her family, her makeup. Her shopping, her charity shops, her trip to New York loves its hustle and its bustle and its buzzing of traffic, loves Central Park and Bloomingdale's and the Empire State Building and her stay in Manhattan. Why is New York so expensive? I'm Lorraine. Chatty, witty, funny, kind. I like to make people laugh. Do I make you laugh with my humour? Thought so. Paul. Wild eyes, wild hair, peace given among chaos and disaster, stepping on Lego. Oh! Stranded smile. I'm Paul. Loyal, slow, silly, clumsy. Error of nature, always laughing away. Do you ever watch where you are going? No. Ha. Hi. I'm Jim Gibb, I'm the filmmaker and animator that was brought in to work on the How We See Ourselves project. My task was to combine the artwork created by Lynn McNally and participants with the poetry created by Simon Lamb and participants. So initially the two sessions, the artwork and poetry, ran in parallel with each other and then there was a further art session where pieces were created that directly linked to the poetry. Alongside that, there was a further session where stop motion animation was created to link in with the poetry as well. So there was quite a wealth of visual material to work with to then create the animation. In creating the animation pieces, I tried as much as possible to have a slightly different style for each piece and try and use as much as possible only the artwork that had been created by Lynn and the participants who were staff and customers from Trindle Moss and Neighbourhood Networks. For each piece I tried to take some motifs from the artwork and create a slightly different style for each poem.
So some of the artwork created lent itself very well to animations, such as the, the birds. Some of the other artwork I had to think a little bit harder about how to incorporate it into the animation, such as the merino wool pieces. So for example, for the reference to New York, in one of the animations, I created towers, I created um, buildings that represented New York um, and cut them out digitally from the merino wool pieces. I think overall the project has been very satisfying and it's been a quite a unique project to work on in that it ties together artwork, poetry and animation and brings it all together into one exhibition. Ryan, devoted dad, does not drink, does not smoke, fan of football, fan of the bill, fan of creative writing, best there was, best there is, best there will ever be, grand master at bending the rules to get what I want, but rules aren't there to be bent. They're there to be broken. I'm Ryan. Jekyll, Hyde, passionate, thunder. Practically perfect in every way. Yes. Can he do it? Is he the best? Damn right. Stacy. I feel good about myself today. I'm going to enjoy it. I like my macaroni cheese and my fluffy teddy, and I love to sing. I feel safe in my room, sing a song out loud. If it is a big crowd, still sing loud. I'm scared. Singing makes me happy, especially when people clap their hands. Singing makes me proud. Clap your hands. I'm Stacy. Thoughtful, kind, caring, fun. I like to look after people. Can I help you more because I'm caring? Yes, definitely. Stuart. Trindlemoss. Good people. Friendship hub. Enjoyment every week. Full of carry on and laughter. Easy times. I'm cool at pool, and when I win, it's good. I'm the champion of pool. Easy times. DVDs and Blu-rays in the homeroom. Relaxing. Peaceful. Easy times. In the watch I've had a long time and the chains I've had a long time. Easy times. Keeping in touch. Helping out friends and family. My pack. Easy times. I'm Stuart. Helpful, kind, leader, tall. I like to be kind always. Why are you so kind and helpful always? Love people.